What's going on guys? What's going on guys? Thank you for coming. EMB5679 here. Please like, share, subscribe, and please stay tuned to the end of this video. This is very important. Please listen up. Stick with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Understand. Let's go. Borderline shooting. My son was in Las Vegas with a lot of his friends and he came home. He didn't come home last night and I don't want prayers. I don't want thoughts. I want gun control and I hope to God nobody else sends me any more prayers. I want gun control. No more guns. No more guns. The city had shut it down and... See, this is why I didn't want to give this talk because I knew that we have this conversation. Let me take a step back and a deep breath because this is a very painful thing to talk about. All over the world, we know, it's well established, the State Department intelligence agencies engage in theater and the state department intelligence agencies engage in theater and it's what they do it's spycraft to create um, spectacles and events that people may not realize are spectacles and events but that well like the um the overthrow of mossadegh in the 50s in iran it, they they'll funnel money to protesters they'll you know fly people in to infiltrate protesters they'll create fake newspapers okay right there right there pause pause look stay with me stay with me remember those words for the end of this clip she just said they'll funnel money in to create protest They'll funnel money, fund protest, right? Remember that. And so on. So we know that this happens in countries around the world. That a law has been passed in the United States. I think it's part of the Defense Authorization Act. I need to confirm this. It now makes it legal to propagandize American citizens. Is that no? It's a separate bill. It's a separate bill. And it's been passed. It's now law. Do we know what the name Two years ago. Do we know what the name of it is? What this means is entered an era in which it is not crazy to assess news events to see if they're real or not real. And in fact, it's kind of crazy not to. So I want to be very clear about it so it can't be taken out of context. Pardon me, this kind of reflexive vilification of anyone speculating about that because they become a conspiracy theorist, right? You know, I've often thought about this because I believe we need intelligence. I believe we need intelligence agencies. I don't think there's anything dishonorable about being in the intelligence services if you obey the Constitution and the law. But all over the world, our intelligence services are engaged in conspiring to create outcomes. That's their job. That's how they're successful. So <clears throat> now that it's illegal to propagandize in the United States, it doesn't surprise me that there's more and more products coming up in popular culture, more and more events in the news stream that seem to be, to my eye, to be subsidized. Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, remember I just told you remember that? All right, now I'm not going to play this whole thing. Just watch. Listen. Who is exactly behind promoting these accusations and protests against Judge Kavanaugh? The Women's March has been at the forefront of the anti-Trump movement, as we all know, day after the inauguration at the big protest, and are taking the lead now, stating just today, quote, we are organizing an impactful non-arrest direct action to make sure that the Senate knows that we believe Christine and demand that they hashtag cancel Kavanaugh and vote no on his confirmation. Both groups have actively opposed Kavanaugh since he was announced. Now, those groups take on significance because of their association with George Soros. According to an extensive study by the Media Research Center, 100 of the 544 Women's March partners have received a total of 246, am I reading this right, million, dollars from Soros at last count. That's chump change internal memo that we got a hold of from one of these interest groups. They are very, very powerful. And they, they there were 27 of them who ranged, uh, who, who uh, orchestrated against Judge Smith. And uh, they, they give stories to the press, with which the Washington Post you know, published. Uh, they did all, they do all of these kind of things. And it, it's a real serious problem. And what we're seeing here are Democratic senators, basically, what you, what you can't see are the groups behind these Democratic senators that are pulling the strings, which they are doing. And George oh. Soros, as a matter of fact, paid for one of those groups in 2002. Inside the borderline bar and grill, gunman has opened fire. They need to do something. People who have problems should not have guns. And if they, yeah, they run tests, but clearly the tests don't do anything. 
this guy was messed up in the head and he was still able to carry a gun. What would you like the politicians to do? They need to step up and do something. Instead of just all this talk, everyone's just all talk and no one's action. We need to like do something about all this. Damn, man. You guys got to get a better crisis actor than that. But listen, pay attention, guys. Listen to this next part. Alexis's friends had survived another mass shooting in Las Vegas last year, only to be caught up and killed in this one. Alexis's friends had survived another mass shooting in Las Vegas last year. My son was Tel Horfanos. We lost him last night at the borderline shooting. My son was in Las Vegas with a lot of his friends and he came home. He didn't come home last night and I don't want prayers. I don't want thoughts. I want gun control and I hope to God nobody else sends me any more prayers. I want gun control. No more gun, more guns. Hold up, hold up guys. Before you, before I show them any more of your bullshit, let me just tell my people here. So listen, ma'am, your son apparently, allegedly just got shot. You don't want prayers from anybody when your son didn't come home last night. But you don't want no prayers from anybody. And all you're talking about is gun control. And Mason Wells, who was lucky to be alive after he was injured in the Brussels terror, terror blast. Amazingly, this wasn't his first brush with terror. During the Boston Marathon bombing, he was just a block away. And last November, he and his dad were in France during that terrorist attack. Okay, so even though you're sitting here stuttering, Michael Strahan, you're, you're stuttering, but uh, we'll let that slide. You got a kid here that been in three different terror attacks. And what was that, three different countries? France, Paris, and America? Wait, whatever, countries, whatever they're called. And then Alexa, the girl before, had been in two different mass shootings. <laughs> well, but I just want to make sure I have this straight. So you sent them a long, in effect, essay on what you thought, but they did, they put yes, their sir. own words in the question, and they weren't the same as the words you had sent in. They were the producer's words. Absolutely, they had taken what I had wrote and what I had briefed on and talked about, and they actually wrote the question for me. But, but not with your words. I mean, they put their own words into your question, even after, after they'd asked you to send questions Absolutely. in. I said, why do we have to tell the people what they need to hear? Why can't we just tell them what they want to hear? And what do they want to hear? Good evening, and we come on the air at this hour because we are following developments out of Manchester, England. Reports of an explosion at an Ariana Grande concert, urging people to stay away from the area. They have confirmed multiple fatalities. And what do they want to hear? To reports of a shooting, we're told, at Newton Elementary School uh, this morning. It's in the southwestern part of Connecticut. That's according to a police spokesman, Lieutenant Paul Vance. And what do they want to hear? Police have now confirmed at least four attacks in the city of Paris. The AP reporting there were suicide bombers outside the stadium. You could hear it right there. As the question is, where did fake news come from? When did fake news start? And who started it? Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan. First draft, which appears to be about the first to use the phrase fake news in its modern context. President Obama chimed in. He too thought somebody needed to step in and curate information of this wild, wild west media environment. Fake news is such big news, President Obama weighed in Thursday. There's so much active misinformation. It's as if the media had been given its marching orders. Fake news, they insisted, was an imminent threat to American democracy. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their, push their own personal bias and agenda, agenda to control the truth. Exactly what people think. And this, this is, is extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Not what he said, but what he was forced to say. And even your networks and your network and your network and your ne every one of these networks 
They put up their hands, you know. We so WikiLeaks is a hoax just like everything else. She's a hoax just like everything else. We're the biggest hoax of all. It was a witch hunt. A total witch hunt. A total witch hunt. Why? Because you're fake dude. The fact that you even asked that question, you're fake news. You're fake news. See, this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. But the noted propagandist told me, it's like a movie, he said. Nearly every scene or image that crosses our path in daily life, he said, was put there for a reason, often by someone who paid a lot of money to place it there. What if the whole anti-fake news campaign was an effort on somebody's part to keep us from seeing or believing certain websites and stories by controversializing them or labeling them as fake news. But who would want to do such a thing? It was Google. A BuzzFeed analysis found that fake election news generated more buzz on Facebook than stories from 19 mainstream news outlets combined. The media seems to be trying to shape or censor facts and opinions rather than report them. You know what they do. They censor the truth. They don't report it. They come on their mainstream outlets. Okay, they throw the political shade. Okay, they focus on their narratives and what they want to tell you. Because they don't tell you what you need to hear. They tell you what you want to hear. If they say that um, criminals get guns no matter what laws you have in place, that might be true, but we don't have to encourage them to get those guns, we can make it harder. Mass thieves stealing rifle after rifle. This is a robbery in progress in Colorado. But these young crooks are not there to steal cash, they're there for the guns. Absolutely make it harder, and we can prevent some seriously nasty crimes and some seriously indescribable tragedies from occurring. 26 people could have been even more. One of the reasons it was not more was the heroism of one of the individuals standing with me right now, Johnny Langendorf. He chased the killer down in his truck. Huh. Hmm. Starting to see a trend? This whole issue of mass shootings is normally what gets national attention. Uh, whether it's El Paso or Dayton or Pittsburgh, uh, it's incidents like that where the national media comes out and for a day or two, they'll spend time actually talking about gun violence in America. But the reality is mass shootings take place every day on the streets of our city uh, uh, across the entire country. One person, two people here, three over there. All life has value. You don't have to lose it in large quantities before we start to pay attention to something that is as pressing an issue as gun violence in our communities. Suicide. More people die by suicide than any other means. What about children? I can't tell you how many scenes I've gone to. I've been an uh, 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 active member of law enforcement 47 years where a, a young child finds a gun in a home and accidentally pulls the trigger and shoots a sibling or shoots themselves. Tragic. Something has to be done to reduce gun violence, whether it's by criminals, whether it's accidental, whether it's suicide, whatever it is, we need to do everything we can to protect our people here. And this right here is a perfect example for when a gun saved a life because when it comes down to it, people kill people. Guns don't. theory of gun control that has been around since the 1960s. The basic idea is that fewer guns equal less gun crime. In 1996, after a lunatic used a semi-automatic rifle to murder 34 people in Tasmania, the Australian government banned all semi-automatic rifles and repeating shotguns. Owners of roughly 700,000 registered firearms, about a quarter of the country's 3 million total guns, were required to turn them in for destruction. Shit, what? 
Man, I will risk getting shot before I do that. A right stolen by their government, promising safety in return for its gun bans. But now citizens know the frightening truth. Cold, hard facts the anti-gun forces can no longer escape. Armed robberies have skyrocketed, up 69%. Assaults involving guns rose 28%. Gun murders increased 19%. And a new phenomenon? Home invasions jumped 21%. An increase politicians insist they can't explain. <laughs> hey, bro, this is a reality show. They can't explain that, though, right? Well, check this out, right? You can't explain that, but I can promise you one thing. If yens ever sit down and let them take your guns, you legal gun owners, you people that are mentally sane, you good people out there that have guns that protect your homes and stuff and shit like that, if you ever sit down and go like this, here, government, take my gun and take all my rights while you're at it, if you ever do something that dumb, okay, remember that clip that you just seen, because I promise you, there will still be guns and they will be in the hands of the wrong people and you won't be able to protect yourself remember that change is here the sun shines on a new day and the day is ours 96 people die every day from guns in our country and we will save lives man if you don't stop that you little indoc indoctr indoctrinated indoctrinated nerd indoctrinated man if you don't stop that you little indoctrinated nerd nearly 25,000 guns per year are lost or stolen from gun dealers but it may surprise you that an estimated 230,000 guns annually roughly 10 times more are stolen in home burglaries and property crime every moment will be dedicated to those pieces of legislation all for that assault weapons ban to keep these weapons of war out of the hands of civilians who do not need them all for the prohibition of high-capacity magazines, because no hunter will ever need access to a magazine that can kill 17 in mere minutes. When they give us that inch, that bump stock ban, we will take a mile. I want gun control, and I hope to God nobody else sends me any more prayer. So many in the media are reporting the same stories. I mean, I mean, I mean, honestly though, are you seeing a trend? You seen a pattern? This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 When everybody's on the same page, it might be the result of an organized campaign. What you need to remember is that when interests are working this hard to shape your opinion, their true goal might just be to add another layer between you and the truth. When everything's a little clearer in the light of day And we know the night is always gonna be here anyway But they, they put yes, their sir. own words in the question and they weren't the same as the words you had said in, they were the producer's words? Absolutely, they had taken what I had wrote and what I had briefed on and talked about and they actually wrote the question for me. Wait, no, 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 hold, 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 hold up. Something don't smell right here. I'm gonna run that back. Watch his eyes. Absolutely, they had taken what I had wrote and what I had briefed on and talked about, and they actually wrote the question for me. But, but not with your words. I mean, they put their own words into your question, even after, after they'd asked you to send questions Absolutely. in. Why can't we just tell them what they want to hear? So the media's interviewing him about the media that interviewed him about interviewing him about telling him what to do while interviewing him while they are interviewing him but telling him what to do during his interview with him during okay guys thank you for watching um i'm gonna wrap this up with this but i just want to take you guys into the mind of not a conspiratorial mind but a mind of a realist a mind of a truther okay uh real quick just to show you guys man soros funded foundation to close its doors turkeys george soros funded network drives anti-kavanaugh activism george soros accused of funding protests against hungarians no george soros isn't paying Kavanaugh protesters but protesters rally to try and keep soros funded college in hungary 
Uh, the far right is working hard to blame George Soros for the Kavanaugh controversy. That's just the left, uh, you know, whatever, their little battles. George Soros, George Soros, George Soros. Going back to the beginning of the 2000s, this dude has been accused and to prove in fact, you can look it up, George Soros funds Ferguson protest. You know saying? Look, that's four years ago. George Soros funded group behind violent UC Berkeley protest. George Soros denies funding town hall protest. See what I'm saying? See the, you see the trend here? You know what I mean? Eventually, I, I get it when you keep throwing shit at the wall, eventually it sticks, but this guy has just been accused of funding too many protests, and oh, look at that number. George Soros spent $33 million bank ruling Ferguson protest. $33 million. And he is a Freemason, you better believe it. He will not lie about it. He will openly admit that he is. Also, uh, if you guys been seeing this trend right about here, we have this in Boston today. Boston gun control rally set for Sunday afternoon. George Soros funding this one? Hmm, I don't know. He's been accused of a lot of them. And then, of course, red flag laws leave gun owners defenseless. Remember this. The red flag laws leave gun owners defenseless. The Trump-endorsed response to mass shootings gives due process short shift, which means they can just go around the due process. And then, have you been noticing Walmarts lately? Baton Rouge Walmart. Argument with scissors and gun causes panic in a nation on edge. 12 days ago. Not a gun control problem. Son of a man shot to death at Auburn Walmart. Man arrested with pellet gun, North Carolina, Walmart, 18 year old, bridge, woman, caught shoplifting at Walmart, okay, they got nothing to do with it, Texas Walmart, shooting, 20, 20 kill, we know what happened at that Walmart, you know, God rest their souls, man, God rest their souls, this is not, this is not about the victims, I'm sorry to say that, but it's not about the victims that died in these mass shootings, I pray for their families, I am truly sorry for that, I, I, I wish it didn't happen, man, I'm trying to point out the trends, the patterns, that the, 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 the people that infiltrate our government and they are trying to start this NWO are doing. It's just, that's all I'm doing. And Walmart has been on the news so much lately. You see this three days ago, six days ago, six hours ago. Where's that one? Six hours ago. Two men arrested with guns at Walmart in Kansas City six hours ago. Is it not just ironic? No, it isn't ironic at all, guys. Let me explain something to you. Walmart has been uh, started by a government official. You know what I mean? Walmart was started by a colonel in the military. Walmart. Wall. W-A-L. Backwards is law. L-A-W. The other way is wall. W-A-L. And then Mart. It kind of looks like it's short for Mart, like Marshall, you know what I mean? So Walmart, backwards, almost looks like Marshall Law. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I know a lot of you know that. But I'm trying to wake people up here. I'm trying to wake new people up here. I'm censored heavy, man. I need your help, guys. I need you to help me. Please share the stream. And just understand one thing, man. You can't believe everything anybody says. Believe none of what you hear. And some of what you see, okay? And that goes for YouTubers too. There's so many fake people out there. There's so many liars out there. MSM, those guys, huge, huge liars. They're pushing narratives, they're pushing agendas for their narratives, okay? But you have to understand there's little inky dinky weirdos on YouTube. That come in the truth their community because they see it as a money sign. They see it as money. That's it. They come in here and they basically study the mainstream media. They study them and they literally try to do exactly as they do. All right. So like I said, guys, believe none of what you hear, some of what you see. Again, be five six seven nine. Checking out. See you guys in the live stream.